Invoices are the most important document in your accounting. And surely you also know what should normally be included on such an invoice. For example, the address and name of your company, the service recipient, the invoice date and invoice number, the service date, etc. Such as, there are a whole lot of points that should definitely be on such an invoice. If you're not 100% sure what exactly belongs on an invoice and what might not, you'll find a video linked below in the video description and also a free checklist. You can then use them to check your own invoices and also to verify the invoices you receive from your suppliers and service providers. And in this context, you will certainly notice a problem sooner or later. You often receive incorrect invoices from supposedly reputable companies that should know how to do it right, and you frequently and consistently find this frustrating. Because what about you as the service recipient, for example, on receipts, on hospitality receipts in restaurants, on taxi receipts, on tickets from Deutsche Bahn, etc. There are indeed quite a few invoices that simply do not include all the necessary components, and there is indeed a reason for that. There are actually in fact two very important simplification rules for creating invoices. But first let's briefly look at why it is indeed important to get a proper correct invoice. A correct invoice is especially crucial for the service recipient, that is, the very important customer. Because you can claim the stated value added tax, VAT, in this invoice in your VAT advance return. That means you can reclaim this value added tax, VAT, from the tax office. And it is absolutely in the interest of every business customer to get a proper invoice. If you don't have a correct invoice, you are not allowed to claim the stated value added tax, VAT. You should have a strong interest in ensuring that your customer receives a correct invoice. Aside from that, you are also legally obligated to do so. According to section 14 of the German VAT Act, you must issue a proper invoice if your customer is a business customer. And in this context, the question is absolutely legitimate what actually happens with receipts such as receipt books, taxi invoices, hospitality receipts, train tickets, etc. Right? Because all these documents are not proper invoices according to section 14 of the German VAT Act. Does this automatically mean that you can't claim input tax from receipts? No, not. There is an exception, namely specifically for all types of invoices with an invoice gross amount under 250 euros and indeed also for train travel tickets. This means that if the document, that is the invoice, is a ticket or has a maximum invoice amount of 250, then not all invoice details need to be included. For example, as the service recipient, you do not need to appear on a ticket from Deutsche Bahn. And indeed, even on receipts up to 250, such as your name and address, are not necessary. But what information must be included on these small amount invoices? First, it is the service providing company with its address. The service recipient does not need to be explicitly mentioned. Additionally, this small amount invoice must have a date, that is an issue date, the invoice date, that must also be included. In addition, the invoice must include the subject of the invoice, meaning the type and quantity of goods or items sold or the service that has been billed. And fourth, the price must be stated. It is actually sufficient if the price is shown including value added tax, VAT. For example, 200 euros. Note should indicate how much VAT is in this 200 euros. For instance, including 7% VAT or including 19% VAT. If no VAT is included, explain why no VAT is included. For example, reference the small business regulation. And those are all the invoice details sufficient, at least for invoices up to 250 euros. This means you can claim the VAT from receipts even if there is no tax number on them. Or if the service is not specified, if there is no service date. All of this is not necessary. On the other hand, this simplification rule can obviously make your invoicing much easier because you no longer have to ask for your customer's name or address. And you don't have to disclose your tax number either. You don't even need an invoice number. This means you can actually issue significantly simplified invoices, at least if the invoice amount is under 250 euros, for example, if you regularly active at craft fairs. Because usually a receipt book is sufficient. Receipt books are designed so most of the required information is already included. An important note for receipt books is that you should always add your very important full name and complete address. But a company stamp plus a receipt book can indeed actually truly make your work significantly easier. 
But there's a small catch, it often already has 19% value added tax, VAT. You must not use these templates if you are a small business owner because that would mean that you have indicated 19% value added tax, VAT. And if you indicate value added tax, VAT, though you are not entitled to do so, you still have to pay this VAT. Therefore, when purchasing receipt books, make sure this phrase is not printed on them. However, there are a few pitfalls with these small amount invoices that I want to point out. For example, it is quite possible that your invoice lists different products that have different tax rates. For example, if you work in the hospitality industry, it is very common for beverages to be taxed at the new rate of 19% and food at 7%. You must also list these separately. That means if the food costs 100 euros, including value added tax, VAT, then it includes 7% VAT. And if the drinks cost 50 euros, including 19% VAT, then this must actually be listed separately. However, the total invoice amount must be below 250. What you can't do is split invoices. For example, if you sell something for Euro 500 and find it cumbersome to create a proper invoice, you can't just issue two small invoices of Euro 250 each. You actually have to issue a proper invoice with all the required invoice details. And there are also a few examples where you cannot apply the simplification rule for small amount invoices. These are often business relationships that cross national borders. So if you perform a reverse charge service, for example, for a company in Austria, then you actually cannot apply the described simplifications. In summary, one can say that creating invoices for amounts up to 250 is significantly easier. However, you should urgently ensure that you receive a proper and comprehensive invoice if the amount exceeds 250 euros. Because even if you buy a laptop at Media Markt or Saturn, you will get a receipt, but in most cases, the amount will be over Euro 250. This means that in these cases, you actually need a proper invoice with you as the service recipient, including your name and address, otherwise you cannot claim the input tax. And even with hospitality receipts, you can quickly exceed Euro 250. So if you go out to eat with three, four or five people, you can easily exceed these 250 euros and whenever these euro 250 have been exceeded. You always need a proper invoice, so it's always easier if it's under 250. I hope this video was able to help you a bit. If you have any questions about invoices, small amount invoices and so on, feel free to leave me a comment under this video. You can find my recommendations below in the video description and I'll also link them here for you. You can simply watch the other videos on this channel like this one or this one.